All right, guys, we're gonna remove some decals from the truck today, even though most people said, no, we're doing it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys had a good weekend. I know me and Wrigley did. Wrigley, did you kill it out there? How many squirrels did you chase over the weekend? Actually, I was out in the garage and he, I, I had him outside and I had the side door open and he beelined for a squirrel. I thought he was gonna get him because I was like, man, Wrigley's just too slow to actually catch one of them damn things but i was like i was impressed i was impressed the squirrel was caught off guard i think wrigley was hiding and he was staged but anyway i made a post recently guys about how i was going to i wanted you guys' opinion on if i should remove the if i should remove the fx4 decal or leave it i have the white decal and it looks pretty clean for the most part i didn't opt for the black one people put the black ones on it's just on a white truck like i don't like it so I found the white one. The only thing I dislike about it, like me in person, when I see my truck, it's a different tone of white. So I don't particularly care for that, but that's not the biggest deal. Like most people say it looks clean. I'd agree it's clean. But when I first bought the truck, it did not have the FX4 decal. It was just bare. So, and I thought it looked super clean, but also the truck was like a lot different too. I'm gonna go through my archives of photos real quick and see if I can find a photo of what the truck looked like when I first purchased it before I did any modifications to it and I'll post it up now so that's what the truck looked like it had a fiberglass tonneau it had this it had the same wheels but it had tear grappler g2s which not a bad tire but I just didn't care for the first off they're played out second off they're just they didn't look as aggressive. They're more streetish of a tire than what I have now. I had the factory projectors. What else did the truck had? It had factory Nerf bars. It had the recons, but I will say the fiberglass tonneau, I had like a love hate relationship. Like sometimes I really liked the way it looked. And then other times I was like, I got to get rid of it. Eventually I just got rid of it. I sold it and purchased one of the undercover tonneaus. It's just, it's really streamlined. It's clean looking. I don't like when I have it trifolded up because it blocks, you know, the back window completely. So then you're relying on your mirrors and you hope whatever your tone doesn't fly out without you not noticing. But since we're going to remove the decals, I have a heat gun. I need to go pick up some adhesive remover just in the event that there is some leftover sticker residue that we need it. But I think the truck's going to look clean. This will get the true opinions because then more and more people will click on it and they're going to be like, yes or no. Wrigley, you going to go to Walmart? Hey, wake up. Okay, so we have retrieved the goods. Wrigley, we got the goods. Adhesive remover. Now, it said it was 10 bucks, but it was actually like 16 bucks. Whatever, I'm sure I'll use it in the future regardless of what I'm using it for today. New car scent and a window squeegee. Why did I need this? Because it was $4, that's why. Wrigley, what are you thinking, dude? Should we go remove some decals? We have the heat gun staged up and I made sure beforehand that I still can get that white decal, the same one, because I want the Ford factory font. I like the gray that's in it. So I made sure that I'm still able to purchase that decal in case I miss it. But I think it's gonna look super clean. Change it up for a little bit, worst case. I spent another 20 bucks and put it back on. She's gone. So you can still see all the sticker residue left. So let's get the 3M adhesive remover and get the rest of that gunk off.
Okay guys, so we have the decal removed. I don't know if you can hear that, but somebody's driving their gas powered RC car on the street behind me. But the decals are removed. The 3M adhesive remover worked like cake. I mean, it took it off in like less than five minutes. I'm pretty pumped about it. I could go back to it, but I don't know. But we're gonna get the Wrigley Man loaded up and we are going to get a little B-roll footage for you guys so you guys can see what the truck looks like now and then you can put your hate comments below actually i found a construction site yesterday that i think will be a perfect place to post up i noticed there was cones pushed out of the way so i could drive in and it's sunday so i don't think anyone should be there plus we've had some rain so no one should really technically be working this way we can do a full reveal what the truck looks like. I don't know, I, I'm kind of pumped the way it looks. I think it looks cleaner without the decals. Like the white looked good. I'll give it that. But I think this is the way to go, at least for a while. Okay, so we got the Wrigley. Hey, wake up, dude! Wake up! It's midday. Not really. We're coming to it. We're coming to an end. But as you guys can see, I think the truck looks dope. I'm not even gonna lie. I I I like this. You can see it basically took off. There's a little dust. It's du it's dusty back here. Coming some slack. But I just think that the truck does look cleaner meaner I don't know I don't know can you guys see it all the way I'm thinking it's bright out here it's the way to go no decal we'll get to this side see how bright it is yep yep as you can see Wrigley agrees that was a good choice so perfect decision to get rid of the decals that 3M adhesive remover, it was 15 bucks, but it literally took off each side in probably two minutes. I just sprayed it directly to a rag, wiped it off, and it came right off. I probably wouldn't spray it directly on there just, just to be on the safe side, but it is for auto use. So I like it, I like it. I had to change the truck up somehow. Two of the parts that I have ordered for the truck for the future videos are back ordered. And the one place I ordered it from showed that it was in stock. So I was really hoping that I was going to be able to put it on this weekend and shoot a video for you guys, but I gotta wait. The part showed, I guess, mid-June. So yeah, I'm sick of waiting. I'm a very impatient person. Like if it shows in stock, I want it that week. Next day, two days, I'm very impatient. So let me know what you guys think in the comments if I made a horrible life decision or if I should just reorder another white sticker throw it back on there but in the meantime i gotta go i have ordered chili's car side i say when we close we close in five minutes i got reservations at chili's i'm meeting my boys if you guys like this content make sure to hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button as i will be bringing more videos and wrigley would appreciate it wrigley tell them subscribe all right guys i'll catch you on the next one peace